What's going on everybody? John Eric Poli here with my MMA news and today we'll be taking a deeper look at this weekend's main event of UFC 289 where the champ champ Amanda Nunes will be defending her Bantamweight title against Irene Aldana and I know uh, it just seems this way anyway that a lot of fans aren't necessarily buzzing about this card like they may have been over a few uh, previous cards this year here in 2023 but nonetheless it's going to be a great night of fights and for the fans that may Maybe aren't super excited with this one. I will come to your aid on this one here. I really feel like it probably should have been Raquel Pennington getting this fight when Juliana Pena had dropped out. Um, because I, th- I feel like Pennington really did a great job of working her way back into title contention. I know we did see the Nunes and Pennington fight once a few years ago. It didn't go very well for Pennington, but still, I felt like she's worked her way back into that role a little bit better. She also has a win over Irene Aldana, but, you know, it is what it is. I do feel like the UFC might be might be making this push towards Aldana because she is Mexican. Of course, a lot of Mexican fighters with the success this year. Brandon Moreno winning the uh, flyweight title. Yu Rodriguez interim featherweight title. He'll be challenging uh, Alexander Volkanovsky at the next card, UFC 290, uh, beginning of July there. Then, of course, uh, Alexa Grasso, too, big upset over Valentina Shevchenko. Now, Irene Aldana getting the push to be the fourth Mexican fighter to try to win a title this year. So, now, with all that being said, let's get into the breakdown here. Typically, I would put up a tapology page, show you guys everything. Going to do that for Aldana, but not for Nunes. Not really a breakdown here for Amanda Nunes, guys, right? Come on. We've been following the sport for a while. Everybody knows Nunes. She's the GOAT. She's the champ champ. Uh, the only little blemish on that record was that loss to Juliana Pena. And what did she do? Comes back with a vengeance. Wins the title extremely easily. I know she took a lot of some damage. Her face was marked up afterwards, but still, nonetheless, won all five rounds on the judges' score. Cards, a few 10 8 rounds mix in there, just doing the dominant stuff that, that Amanda Nunes does. So, not going to spend a lot of time breaking down what she's done previously. But now for Irene Aldana, let's take a look at the tapology report there for her. Uh, she's 14 and 6 as a professional, has two wins in a row, both of those by finish. Um, actually, her last three victories are by way of finish, and uh, anybody that's followed her career has uh, has to know that her boxing is absolutely great. That's going to be a big key for her in this fight, and that's where I think she'll be able to make things interesting. One thing, uh, a little tricky here uh, to talk about here with Irene Aldana, things that I'm not necessarily a fan of, and that's when you lose to household names uh, time and time again, right? She has losses to Raquel Pennington, a loss to Holly Holm, those two pretty recently, also a loss to Caitlin Chukagian. That was years ago, though. Uh, that's not recent, but still, nonetheless, I mean, those are three names that any fan out there is familiar with. She has losses to those three. Anybody that watches these videos know. I just talked about that with Angela Hill the last fight. We had a, a lot more household names that she lost to, but still, I don't necessarily like that when I'm taking looks at um, with fighters here. So, anyway, that's the little breakdown there. Let's talk about tail the tape here. Look how these two match up against each other. Uh, for this one here, I mean, like uh, Mike Goldberg used to say, right? Virtually identical. Both ladies. 35 years old. Irene Aldana is one. Some places may list her as two inches taller, but Nunes will have a slight reach advantage by half of an inch. So now all that's out of the way, let's start breaking down the odds for this fight. So we're going to start, as always, with DraftKings, the official betting sponsor of the UFC. They like Nunes at minus 320, Irene Aldana plus 265. FanDuel, Nunes minus 350, Aldana plus 255, Bet MGM, they have Nunes at minus 350, Aldana at plus 260, and finally, Unibet, Nunes minus 315, Aldana plus 250. You could just kind of get the gist here, no matter what website you go to, odds pretty similar. They're all in favor of the Lioness Amanda Nunes to win. So now, with all of that being said, time for the prediction here guys and I, I I agree with the odds makers here guys I think Amanda Nunes gets this one done here for you know I mean a few reasons I, don't get me wrong I think Aldana can box that's going to be a big key to her here um, she's going to come in same uh, same kind of built she's going to be very tall long in there so if she could box and make this thing interesting frustrate Nunes a little bit kind of like how Juliana Pena was able to this fight can get interesting get interesting fast but here's the thing with Nunes 
Uh, we know she could get it done on the feet. She's done that time and time again throughout her career. Um, but the big thing here for me is her ability to wrestle, to grapple. We've seen her take people down and really beat up a lot of fighters when she's able to get them onto the ground. I think she's going to be able to really utilize that skill in this fight. But I will say, I do think this fight probably going to go the distance. I, something about um, Aldana. It's very hard to finish her. Uh, Holly Holm couldn't finish her. Raquel Pennington, that was a close fight. It was a split decision. Obviously, we know now, again, talk about the boxing, a lot of finishes in there. So I think Aldana can make this thing interesting, but it's just so hard to bet against Amanda Nunes. I mean, how, how can you? We we know what she's done time and time over her career. Uh, so I'm sticking with uh, the Lioness to retain. Another title offense in the books for her. Uh, but I'm going towards the uh, the end of a, um, a victory by decision here. If she does finish her, wouldn't be overly surprised, but I still think Aldana has enough in the tank to make this one interesting and get through the distance with Nunez, but Nunez by decision is my pick.